answer is absolutely overwhelming. With all indices except one, the wealthier countries were, the higher the GDP, the better the score on the index of everything. And basically everything which anyone, including the climate junkies like me, climate change junkies, want. All the nice, you know, lower crime rates, less child abuse, less women abuse, whatever. Uh, there's less of in richer countries. So what you want to do to have a good environment and a good society generally and, and less endangered species and cleaner water and uh, you know, less draining of wetlands. In the old days, wetlands and rainforests used to be called less romantically jungles and swamps. And people weren't so keen on saving jungles and swamps as you are on saving wetlands and rainforests. So the conclusion, it seems to me, is really quite simple. Climate change, I assume, is probable and maybe even be inevitable. And the question is what to do about it. There's no more serious debate uh, about what causes poverty. Poverty is deliberate. Poverty is a consequence of policies. It can't be subject to informed debate anymore. The evidence is completely overwhelming, is that you choose policies that cause poverty, so countries that have poverty have chosen Poverty. Why they do that is because the other things they consider more important than prosperity. But it turns out those other things, which is what our research found, we also get more of with prosperity. So prosperity is the solution to everything, hence that graph of mine, including climate change. So if I accept there is going to be global warming fully within the orthodoxies camp, the best thing to do about it by a very, very big, non-contestable, non-debatable margin is to grow, to be prosperous, to be rich. Then you have all the wealth with which to deal with it. And uh, you want to be able to put stilts and dikes in, in, in Bangladesh as you do in Holland. Uh, land can be man-made, upwards buildings, each floor is man-made land, uh, reclaimed land, all the, the wetlands and swamps of Europe. Uh, if you want to rehabilitate your wetlands, you have to basically bomb most of your cities, including this one. Uh, which were once wetlands in Washington, D.C., and so on. So what you want is wealth. It is wealth that permits you to cope with everything, and it is much easier to become wealthy. It's just what happens if you stop preventing it. Uh, so it's easier to become wealthy than it is to perpetuate the status quo of the climate, much as I would like to do it, and I'm perfectly willing to invest something in it. It produced me after all, so I'm in favor of it. I agree with the fact that you want to minimize the degree to which it changes. It's, it's pretty okay now for us. And uh, what I want to say is how to prosper is not debatable. It is not subject to informed debate anymore. Prosperity and poverty are choices. So with that, let me conclude with, you don't need to actually even debate climate. I'm not a climate skeptic. Uh, I go along with the majority, the orthodoxy. I'm not in a position to judge. I, don't, I know too little to do so. Uh, but what I do know as an economist and a jurist is how to become prosperous, and I do know that being prosperous renders whatever climate change might happen according to current data, either way, warming or cooling, very close to irrelevant. Thank you. <laughs>